massive video war between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. The Aam Aadmi Party is also likely to pull out videos of Hardik Patel, who was the face of the party dar agitation in 2015 and has now switched sides to the Bharatiya Janata Party. Very interestingly, so up stay on with us. Uh, uh, Milan Sharma is also joining us uh, this morning. Milan, other contest which is likely to, of course, uh, grab eyeballs as well, though it has not been touted as so high profile, is the battle for Himachal Pradesh. There is, of course, the talk of anti-incumbency that the Jairam Thakur government is facing in Himachal Pradesh. But as far as the AAP is concerned, which was trying to make it a three-way contest in Himachal Pradesh, did suffer a body blow with their man in Himachal Pradesh, Satendra Jain, going to jail. Well, uh, Polymi, you've put it rightly, but I would believe that uh, the election for Himachal will also be pretty important for the BJP because going forward from here, you and I both know that everything now centers on 2024 as well. And both states, Gujarat as well as Himachal, are going to be very crucially important for the BJP to quell the talk of anti-incumbency because as the state of Himachal has just 68 seats, but certainly uh, whether the BJP is able to retain their hold on the state will decide a lot uh, for the neighboring states of Haryana uh, as well as uh, Punjab where Punjab of course BJP is uh, finished but uh, we're looking at this election in Himachal. The PM has perhaps visited Himachal uh, about nine times in the past so many years and has uh, announced big ticket projects for the state that looks at a bulk of uh, manufacturing of medicines etc. There's a train that has been uh, announced one day Bharat Express from all the way from Una to Delhi and uh, that current, uh, kind of road connectivity and network connectivity uh, is very important for the citizens of the state of Himachal Pradesh. And uh, certainly, uh, as you were pointing out, uh, Arvind Kejriwal was perhaps uh, very enthusiastic in the initial part of the year, this year, going all the way to Mandi, Hamirpur and other districts of Himachal Pradesh to say that Amadmi Party would perhaps make inroads in the hill state. But they have for some time backed out because of their own internal party surveys that say perhaps Amadmi Party has better chances of creating inroads in the state of Gujarat. So at the moment, uh, the Himachal state campaign for the Amadmi Party is cold turkey, but definitely Congress is still in the fight because as we speak, Priyanka Vadra Gandhi is going to also be addressing a rally in Solan in Himachal Pradesh today and that is also going to be crucial to understand because the fight in Himachal is perhaps going to be between the old guard, the Congress party and the BJP that will fight to retain their uh, you know, power in the state of Himachal and a lot can be decided based on how many states uh, uh, BJP needs also in future as we spoke because 2024 is also a very important target. And that seems to be the major agenda of BJP. Of course, they don't really back down on any state elections. They do fight with all their might. So whether it's Gujarat or Himachal, we will uh, interestingly await to see what kind of political uh, entanglements unfold in Himachal. But certainly, as the election commission has today announced, uh, perhaps they would uh, go forward and announce Himachal Pradesh state earlier, Polymi, uh, because uh, it's going to be colder from here on. We're already in the winter months. Absolutely. Uh, Himachal needs to be announced and, uh, Definitely uh, ahead of uh, Gujarat elections for sure, at least. Uh, otherwise, it becomes like Milan was pointing out, it becomes possibly very difficult because there are regions of Himachal where it starts snowing. So it becomes very difficult to conduct elections uh, in those uh, regions. Akshay Dongre, in fact, is uh, joining me live this morning as well. Akshay, any sort of clarity which is emerging as to whether two state poll dates announcements are to be made today or is it going to be just one state likely to be Himachal? Well, follow me as far as uh, today's announcements are concerned. Uh, the um, election commission has uh, uh, has called for a press conference today at, at 3 p.m. in the national capital. Now, the biggest question is this: that whether the poll body uh, uh, will announce the election dates for both of these states. Because when we talk about the last election that took place in 2017, the election commission had announced the dates of Himachal earlier, and it took about 13 days. Uh, for the uh, for the election commission of India to announce the election dates of the state of Gujarat, that in fact caused a lot of uproar. In fact, the opposition targeted the election commission of India, providing extra space to the Bharatiya Janata Party to uh, to enhance, in fact, their preparations as far as the uh, poll-bound state was concerned. 
Now, uh, and then uh, the Election Commission of India had given a clarification that because of the, the flood-like situation in the state of Gujarat, they had to make extra preparation. Now, this time, there is no such, no such uh, situation in Gujarat right now. However, it remains to be seen that whether the poll-bound body will be announcing the, uh, the election date for both the states because the tenure of the Himachal Assembly will be ending in the second week of January. Uh, whereas uh, the, the tenure of the Gujarat Assembly will be ending uh, in after, after the mid of uh, February, so more than a month later. So that remains to be seen that whether the announcement of the dates of election will be done at the same time or whether like the last time in 2017, the Election Commission of India will give some sort of time more uh, to, uh, to, the, to the preparations in the state of Gujarat as far as uh, the, the preparation for right. the elections are concerned. And if that happens, then certainly we can expect some sort of approach by the opposition once again, especially the Ahmadi Party and the Congress Party, mm -hmm. that Election Commission of India is acting in a bipartisan manner.